So to delete keyframes is very easy. We just select the keys and hit delete. It's as simple as that. You can also use a hotkey, Control Shift V. That will do it on the current frame. So Control Shift V. Don't believe, let's see. Yeah, it'll only work on the frame that you're on. That's not based on selection. That's more for the time slider. We want to delete them there, which you can do as well with Control Shift and V there. Now to set keyframes, we're just using the regular keyframe tool. So Shift S or or S or Shift W, Shift E, Shift R for scale. All those sorts of hotkeys will work as per normal. There's a couple of other ways of making keyframes and probably the most common one that you might want to know like fairly quickly actually is this guy here, the insert keys tool. So if we go up to here, click on that guy there and now middle click drag along in the timeline, it'll put a keyframe down on whatever curve you've got selected, which is really lovely. Now that could go for all of the curve, just select that object again. If we wanted to put that everywhere. We could just hold down the I key, the I hotkey on my keyboard shortcuts and that will do it for the curves that you've got selected. Remembering the I key will still work the same. The I and that guy is exactly Exactly the same function. Now the great thing about the I key is it will not destroy your curve. So unlike say coming up to here and then hitting a shift W which is setting a keyframe, you'll often get just a, the slightest uh, movement in that curve. You can sort of see that curve actually, if I zoom right in here, hitting shift W there, it is actually altering that curve and, and destroying its path slightly. So this can be very frustrating for a lot of animators when they're new to Maya. And the way we do that is just hold down the I key, put that in and that curve will remain identical the same. So a really good one, the I key for inserting keyframes. There is also the add key tool as well, something I don't use that much, but you can just select a curve and then middle click and just put curves and add curves that way, nice and easily. The way that I sort of prefer to do it is using the I hotkey. You can just do that and then grab them and move them around if you want to do it that way. It's not very common for you to sort of have that shortcut of going add keys and then doing that around, but that is the middle click, by the way, to create those keys. That is a good way of putting in a lot of keyframes. If you wanted to do, say, some noise or something like that, and you want to do it really quickly, then that is there in the add key tool.